Hello and welcome to my channel. I want to give you some inspiration for a cozy night in. These are going to be ideas that are going to be super simple, very easy to achieve, especially if you're busy, but you definitely want to snuggle up at home and just kind of feel some relaxed vibes. I'd also like to thank Candle Science for sponsoring today's video and let's hop right in. Let's make some soup. It is almost two o'clock, so if I put it in for four hours, it will be literally perfect. This is a loaded baked potato soup. I made this with you a couple months ago, but I'm gonna change it just slightly in today's video and it's super easy and super, super yummy. I feel like potato peeling has to be one of the more boring jobs in this world. So let me know what you guys do when you're peeling potatoes because it's so mindless. I have six potatoes here. All right, here we go. One potato down and five more to go. chicken broth then you're gonna add some onion I had some frozen but it's gone so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some onion powder in here this recipe also calls for garlic four cloves I do not have fresh garlic I didn't even know this but I'm also out of garlic powder so shoot I do need to run to the store um in a minute anyway to get something for the little treat we're gonna make so maybe I'll pick some up but we're just gonna set this on high for four hours okay it's about 6 30 and I just added eight ounces of cream cheese a cup or four ounces of cheddar and then a cup and a half of heavy cream and now I'm just gonna mush this up and leave it for just another couple of minutes while I get the broccoli ready family is not big on soup this is a really nice option because it is so thick it's definitely filling and very cozy and super comforting my husband who doesn't like soup at all absolutely loves this recipe if you want to thin it out a little bit just add a bit more chicken stock and then you can top it with bacon bits like I did some more cheddar cheese sour cream um, chives would also be really really yummy right now Netflix has a couple of different fireplace options that you can play I have been absolutely loving this it's just been making everything feel so cozy and it's really nice since we don't have a real fireplace something absolutely delicious really affordable and super easy to get your hands on is peppermint herbal tea also delicious but a lot harder to find is candy cane lane i've actually found it on amazon before but you have to pay quite a bit for it so if you find that snatch it up it is amazing it's still that peppermint flavor but it's a little bit sweeter there's just something extra special about it for this cozy night in, I'm going to be making some candles and this is a holiday kit by Candle Science. This is soy candle wax and I absolutely adore this. It is really relaxing actually to make these and because the instructions are so simple and easy to follow, you don't have to really Think too much about it you can just put on your favorite music and drink a cup of tea whatever and just make this it's so so nice and cozy so what I'm gonna be doing is just following the directions that are included in the kit and this kit includes 
enough wax and supplies to make 12 candles and the scents are absolutely delicious. This pro kit includes strudel and spice, pumpkin souffle, cranberry apple marmalade, and white birch, and all of them smell incredible. You can actually get individual fragrance oils on their website, as well as supplies to make soaps, if that is what you're into, but there are so many options on their site if candle making is not your thing. They've definitely got something else that you can enjoy that's gonna be really relaxing and just get you in the spirit of the season. They don't just have Christmas scents, obviously. There are things for year round. I highly recommend this. I felt so fancy <laughs> putting this together. Tonight I used the cranberry apple marmalade scent and made three delicious candles that I'm actually looking forward to sharing with some friends too. So of course, the links that you need will be down below. I cannot recommend this kit enough. A cozy treat tonight we're gonna to be making a super easy microwave caramel popcorn the next time you're at the grocery store just pick up a brown paper sack or just ask for your groceries to be loaded in them because this is gonna go right into the microwave and these brown paper bags are absolutely perfect I use about 14 cups of air popped popcorn um, that is exactly what I recommend you use I would not do microwave popcorn because you don't want any butter or anything on this. So into a glass bowl, I'm combining a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of butter, a fourth cup of dark corn syrup, and a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna microwave that on high for a minute and then give it a stir, put it back in the microwave for another minute, <laughs> give it another stir, and then finally microwave it for 30 seconds, give it a stir, and we'll add a couple more ingredients. You're going to stir in a half a teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of vanilla, and then mix this up and it's gonna get super frothy and absolutely smell like heaven. Then you are going to pour this over the popcorn in the bag. And I definitely like to scrape this down with a spatula, but after you do this, you're gonna shake the bag up. This is what it looks like, just pour it into one spot. Shake, shake, shake a ton shake this up <laughs> like a lot and you're gonna microwave this on high for one minute take it out shake it again super super hot at this point microwave it for 30 seconds give it one final shake and then pour it onto waxed paper this is so delicious it cools very quickly so you can eat it right away it doesn't need anything else it is completely done it makes a ton it's such a crowd pleaser and the perfect treat for a cozy night in. To see more content like this, be sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make lots of lifestyle videos, videos on simple living, and give you tons of tips and ideas on how to keep life as easy as possible because I know we are all so busy. Thank you all for joining me today. Don't forget to check out the links for Candle Science, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.